Greetings Internet, it's Katie, and today I'm here with a haul and favorites video all jammed into one. I was sitting down to film today and I couldn't decide between doing an August favorites video or a Los Angeles haul or something of that sort, so I figured, hey, why not just jam them all into one fun little video? I'm going to annotate right here and right here, so if you would prefer one part over the other, go ahead and click there now. But if you're deciding just to stick around and watch the entire video, you know, from beginning to end, first of all, I love you. Second of all, let's get started. So I'm going to kick off this video with the favorites portion. So these are my favorites for the month of August. So let's start out with the beauty favorites. I guess, okay, any mini, mini, mo, pitch, tiger, bias, toe. Okay. So the first thing is something I use in basically all of my tutorials, but I feel like I don't really harp on it too much. And it's the beauty blender. So it looks like this. Mine's kind of deformed looking because I just washed it. It's this little pink guy. There's something magical inside of this. It makes any foundation or concealer, etc. just appear so lightweight on your face. Even if it might not be the most lightweight formula, it really does a great job of blending it. I also have the solid blender cleanser, which is how you clean the sponge, and it's super, super easy. All you do is you get it wet, and you kind of, you know, do that thing right there, whatever. There's instructions in the back. I'm not very good at explaining things like that, but yeah. So the next thing is a bronzer. It looks like this on the outside, if you guys can see that. And then when you open it, bam, bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You guys might know this already, but this stuff smells legitimately like chocolate. This chocolate smell reminds me of that powdery stuff that you put it in your hot chocolate, you know, like the powder hot chocolate stuff. I love this for obvious reasons. Number one, it smells like chocolate. Number two, it is the perfect shade for my skin because I do have very fair skin, as you guys might be able to tell. It is pretty much the end of summer and I am still, you know, pale. It's not too dark to the point that it looks really dirty and just unnatural on my skin, yet it's not too light that it doesn't show up. So I really do love this. There's no shimmer in it at all. Actually, it's completely matte. So the last beauty favorite is something that I have been using probably for about like two and a half years now, but I have yet to mention in a video. I wouldn't say it's embarrassing, but it's just kind of Embarrassing. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Basically, I have a mustache because I am Italian and I have light skin and dark hair and you know, it just happens. I know that there's a gazillion other girls out there like me who have the problem of just growing a little extra hair there and not knowing how to get rid of it. For the very longest time, I would spend like nine bucks every two weeks and get this sucker waxed. It doesn't seem like that much money up front, but when you add it up, that's ridiculous how much money I was spending to get rid of the hair on my upper lip. So I found a new solution that I've been using. Well, I guess it's not really new anymore, but at the time it was new. But now it has become a secret of mine that I've been keeping to myself and I'm just ready to share. So I use this stuff. It's the Sally Hansen Brush on Hair Removal for Face. It actually smells terrible, so I don't like to take a big whiff of it, but it looks like this. It's just like a little applicator. Almost looks like a glue applicator or something. It's this cream stuff. And what you do is you just slightly wet your face or the area that you're putting it on and you dry it off so it's just a little teensy bit damp. Then you just paint this stuff on and then you wait about 10 to 15 minutes. I typically wait 15 minutes because that's just what works for me. After that, I take a washcloth and I just you know, go like that with some water and voila, I am hair free on the upper lip. It only takes 15 minutes and this stuff lasts five ever. The number one thing I like about this is that it's pain free. There's no pain involved. You don't have to get your lip waxed and have them rip off your skin or anything. I'm not sure how expensive it is, but it's not very bad considering you can get it at the drugstore. So that, my friends, is it for the tangible beauty favorites. I found a couple of new apps that I'd really like to share with you guys. So as you guys know, I'm heading to college in just a few days and I've been really working hard to get in shape and get hot for college. And I actually recently got this app called Pump Up. It's like this and it's really cool. I use it mainly for just inspiration for my workouts and my food and eating and stuff like that. Um, there's tons of before and after photos, there's recipes, there's exercises. It's just really, really cool. It's a community of people who can come together and share their tips and their before and afters and things like that for exercise. So it's really been great to motivate me to work out um, and to eat better. <laughs> I was actually scrolling a couple days ago and I found 
there's a simple salad with lime juice as a dressing. I saw in there and I was kind of like, I don't know about that, but I used it. I actually like, you know, used the recipe, maybe made something for once in my life, and I put lime dressing on it and it is freaking amazing. And I will put all the information in the description box below on how you can download that. And you know, all the information is always down there. So if you ever feel like reading up, just scroll down there. So the second app that I've been loving is called ViscoCam and it's basically just your average photo editing app, except it's just way cooler. I have a friend who's a graphic designer and she actually told me about this and it's so funny I just went to BeautyCon and I was talking to my guru friends and they're like oh yeah ViscoCam I use that all the time so if you're ever wondering what your favorite gurus are using for their Instagram photos it's most likely ViscoCam. It's totally free to download but you can buy uh, filters on the store. As you guys know I'm obsessed with photos and I'm obsessed with shopping so it's just a great great wonderful addiction for me to begin. Last but not least is a food favorite and since we were on the topic several minutes ago about healthy things I figured I would throw these in. So these are the Brookside dark chocolate pomegranate flavor. I also love the acai berry but I actually got these from the airport yesterday and they did not have acai berries so you know tear. But anyway I really love these guys. Um, they're not necessarily healthy right off the bat when you look at them because there's like chocolate involved but let me tell you something about my diet. Okay. So eating healthy is very important. I find that when I load my diet completely with like rabbit food and goji berries and all that stuff that's just really, really strictly healthy, I find that I stick with it a lot less easily. Unless I have some things in there, like these babies, that can break up my health food and kind of just you know, tell my body, it's okay to cheat a little and bit. And I'm just having a little rough moment where I just need some chocolate or something or other, I just come to these things. So congratulations, you've made it to the haul portion of this video. <laughs> applause, applause for you. I'm gonna try to do this rapid fire because I personally hate sitting through hauls that are 10 years long. I'm just gonna show you guys a little glimpse of what I bought, where it's from, about how much, and then move on to the next thing. I'm not gonna do a try on haul this time because I'm gonna do a little lookbook video soon. Whoop. I don't know why I made that into a sing song, but hey, spice things up. All right. So the first thing I want to share is something I'm very excited about, which is a new wallet. So it looks like this, and this is a hobo wallet. I actually got this from the Melrose Trading Post for $35, and if you guys know about hobo wallets, they're originally about like anywhere from $110 to like $150, depending on everything. I got this one for $35, and it isn't really used that much. It doesn't even smell weird, so. That's when you know you struck it, guys. Hobo wallets are the best thing ever because they have so many compartments. So first of all, you got your two compartments here. You got the zipper thing, which I just keep cash in. Then you have this one side right here, which contains all of my gift cards right there. And it also has space if you just want to stick more cash in there or something, if you're just loaded with cash, which I'm not. Then on the other side, there's another compartment, and I usually stick my phone right in there, and it fits perfectly right in there and then there is your wallet. And you only have to keep track of one thing. The next thing I'm very excited about is this hat right here. Um, I don't think I can really pull off hats. I got this hat from a small boutique that I forget the name of, but if I remember it, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Next I went to LF and I got a ton of stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't even like hold it all. It's so much. Because they were having their semi-yearly, I don't know what it was, but it was a 60% off sale, so everything in the entire store was 60% off or more. So these were originally $120 from LF, but I got them for something like $38, I want to say. Yeah, that sounds about right. They'll go with everything. Really thrilled about these. Super cute. So next up, I got this shirt that Scarlett convinced me to buy. It looks like this. My camera just adjusted. It's this pink and blue and sheer crop top, and I figured this would go good with a white skirt or something of that sort. This shirt was originally $78, but I got it for like 20 something, which is a total steal. Next, I got two kimonos, and this one just gets stuck on freaking everything. Okay, rude. So the first one is very basic and it's cut. It's just a very long, has kind of quarter sleeves going on here. Um, you can't really see it from me just holding it. It's a basic kimono cut, but it has this black and white just tie-dye on it, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, Lindsay also bought this exact same one because we're both obsessed with it in the dressing room. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was originally $168, but I got it for $58, I think. I'm trying to remember the prices, but they were all just very reasonable. I got so much stuff for way less than I should have. <laughs> this one just looks like this, and it has these tassels on it and this floral, very sheer sort of look to it. It also came in a like brown sort of color, but I was trying on both of them and Lindsay told me to get this one. It's basically a rule of thumb to listen to Beauty Baby 44, so 
I bought it. And I'm sure it'll be in an outfit of the day post very soon. And it was also $58. So next up, I got a dress. Honestly, I'm probably gonna wear this to the next YouTube event I go to. I was just so in love with My it. My camera does not like the white, um, but it looks like that. It's one of those really trendy necklines right now where it just kind of cuts across your chest in you know that sort of motion. And it just has this like almost waffle sort of pattern to it and I just absolutely adore this. It has the skater skirt on the bottom and it's just super super cute. I love that it's slightly sheer right here so the only non-sheer part is the part where your breast does go. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. And I honestly don't know how much I got it for either so it will be a mystery but it's called the check me out dress which is very accurate because it is super banging. My friend Claudia, or Beyond Beauty Star, if you guys know her, you probably do, we both got this dress together. So I got this black bralette. It's pretty basic. It has this um, scalloping lace sort of thing going on down here. It's actually padded enough that you don't need to wear a bra with it, which is always nice. I figured this is a total staple college piece and it makes my boobs look nice, which is always great. So yeah, I like this. This was originally $108, but I got it for 40 something. So that's pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. So next, from a different store, I got another black bralette, go figure, but this one is slightly leather looking, which is really cool. And I probably wouldn't wear this alone, I would always layer something because it does look very lingerie-like. So it looks like this, and it's just slightly sheer right here, but for the most part it's this black leather sort of thing with lace, and it's just super cool looking. I don't know, when I saw it I was like, wow, that's so different. And it was $28 from that same boutique that I really don't remember the name but of. But at the store she said, they only have a location in LA, so that's kind of sucky considering I don't live there. I got this white no sleeve shirt. Um, my camera's gonna freak out again, but it looks like this. It's just very basic in the front, but the back is super cool. It has this just twisty tie sort of thing, and I know there's a ton of tutorials on the internet on how to DIY this, but I just fell in love with the way that this fabric feels and just everything about this shirt. It's from the brand Rehab, and it was $34. Then lastly from that little boutique, I got this necklace, which I actually wore at BeautyCon, if you saw me there, and it's this purple gemstone sort of thing. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this about me, but when I was like in, I would say, maybe first through fourth grade or so, I had an unhealthy obsession with rocks. I had this huge phase where I wanted to be an archaeologist and I was just so fascinated with rocks and bones and things like that. So I went to this museum called the Smithsonian, which you guys might have heard of. It's actually located in DC, which is fairly close to the state that I live in. And I would go there like once every few months, which is actually very frequent if you think about it with my grandma because my grandma understood me. Um, I really miss her, but she totally understood my rock obsession. Although that phase of my life kind of died, I've still always had this fondness for cool looking rocks. So when I saw this necklace, I was just so obsessed. It looks like this. It's this purple sort of deal. And my favorite color is purple, as you guys probably know. So it is the bomb diggity, and it just has this gold chain. Last but not least, I ordered a few things from Urban Outfitters, and they just came in the mail yesterday, so I thought I'd share them. Um, the first thing is this little clutch uh, bag wallet all in one and it looks like this. It's like an animal pelt sort of thing. It's obviously faux. It's not a real animal pelt, but it looks like kind of like a cow almost, but like smaller spots. I don't really know. It was totally an impulse purchase if I'm being honest, but I liked it. I got two different flippy skirts and I like to call them flippy skirts, although I'm pretty sure they're technically called mini, mini, mini? Mini, mini skirts, mini skirts, I can speak, I promise. They're just your standard little flippy mini skirt. I got one in black and one in white, and these are just total staples, and I like how they have the pleats going down, I don't know if you guys can see that. I think they were in the $30 range or something like that, and the fabric is so nice and durable. And I love them. So yeah, that is it for my haul today and my favorites video all in one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And when I see you guys next in a sitting talking sort of format, it will be in my college dorm. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.